the biggest vote came in as hello my wonderful friends welcome back to my channel i really hope you are doing well today so by popular request i'm here to bring you another poundland video people are asking me so if you've shown us what to buy from poundland what shouldn't we buy from poundland well i'm about to show you now so let's get dressed let's head out to poundland and i'm gonna show you exactly what you should not buy when you're at poundland let's go <laughs> okay so i know what you're thinking right you're thinking but how can she really test that these products are not good that is a great question i actually had to enlist a group of poundland experts when i mean poundland experts i am not even giving them the credit that they deserve because these are people who know poundland in and out and they're the ones who advised me what not to buy in poundland so i thought we would run through this list and i will show you exactly why they recommend you should not buy these products i also back this and i say you should definitely not buy these products from poundland so the first product is the shampoos and conditioners so poundland do sell a variety of shampoos and conditioners but they have this particular brand that has all these different flavors and i remember when they first came out and everybody loved them and when i mean love i mean they loved them they were talking about the banana flavor the hemp flavor and everyone was going to buy them at one point even my poundland had run out but upon review, a lot of people have come and said that they actually aren't that great, that they don't even smell that nice. And in particular, the banana one is the one to look out for that actually, it kind of leaves your hair a little bit dry and it doesn't even smell that great. So they said, stay away from these shampoos. It's not worth it. The second thing that they recommend that you should stay away from are the baby safety products. Now, I was shocked at this because when you go to Poundland and you see that they have these uh, cupboard safety lockers, um, they're supposed to stop your baby from opening your kitchen cabinets or any drawers that you have in the house. But upon review, they told me that actually they are useless. They don't even lock your cabinets or your drawers. So what's the point? Don't buy them from Poundland, buy them from somewhere else. Stay away from this product. So unfortunately, this was a big fat fail. And safety is not something that you wanna play with, especially when it comes to your kids. You know what I mean? So stay away from them. The third thing were kitchen utensils. Now I was shocked at this because whenever I go into Poundland and I see the kitchen utensils, I'm like, this is a real bargain, you know? You're getting things that you would otherwise get somewhere else for double the price, but you're getting them for a pound. So I'm talking about peelers. So in particular, people are telling me the peelers are not sharp enough, which is a shame. They also mentioned the pizza cutters. Uh, the pizza cutter is not sharp enough to cut anything. So stay away from those. Okay, for those of you who use post-it notes, they actually mentioned that you should stay away from Poundland's post-its that apparently they don't stick very well. Now, I personally don't use post-it notes, so I don't actually have a personal opinion on this, but I've been told that these post-it notes are not worth it. Even though you get quite a big amount in a pack for a pound, I've been told it's worth, it's not worthwhile to get them. Invest your money elsewhere. <laughs> now, the one that was unanimous across my Poundland experts was the electronics section. So I was told that you should stay away from anything electronic in Poundland. Actually, not everything electronic, just these particular things. So I was told stay away from headphones. So the headphones I've been told are actually useless. There's no point in buying them because half the time you don't know if you're gonna hear music from both ears or you're gonna hear it from only one, whether or not they're gonna have problems with sound quality, that actually it's just not worthwhile buying your headphones from Poundland because you will end up spending 
three, four, five pounds just trying to replace every single headphone that you buy. Now, I have personal experience of this and I've told myself I'm not buying headphones from Poundland anymore. But yes, yeah, stay away from headphones in Poundland. The next thing is the power banks. Quite a few people messaged and said that the headphones do not have enough charge in them. So if your phone or your electronic device runs out of battery, if you thought you could rely on a Poundland power bank, think again. Apparently you can charge it for a long time, but it won't actually give you enough power to recharge your device for a long enough period. So, stay away from the power banks. Then the final thing are the chargers. Now, Poundland does have quite a big selection of chargers. You have the multi-way chargers or you have the direct charger. Now, I asked them to be a bit more specific and they said the multi-way chargers are actually quite good, but it's the direct chargers that are a bit of a problem. They are actually hit and miss. So, you could actually end up with a charger that only works for a day and that's it. It just stops working, it's not compatible with your device anymore and it just ends up giving you more problems. So, it was recommended for you to just stay away from these chargers. So, I would not recommend you buy any electronics from Poundland. Maybe what I will do is I will try and test these products from Poundland and give you a review so that you can see them in real time on my video, how they perform. So, wait for that video. <laughs> and finally, the one with the biggest vote came in as the batteries. Now, Poundland do have a selection of batteries. And although most people did say, you know, you go and you buy them and they work for your TV and remote, but for any other device or product that needs quite high powered batteries, Poundland batteries are not the one. You have to let that one go. Now, I thought this was actually quite a bit harsh because I thought, actually, I have been using Poundland batteries for a while. So I bought my son a lovely little battery operated train for him to play with and I tested out these Poundland batteries. And I cannot lie, they didn't last that long. So we went through quite a few batteries in a short space of time. So I agree, if you have anything that doesn't require a high power batteries, definitely go buy it. But for anything that does require a high powered battery, Poundland is not the one. Despite the batteries actually saying four high powered <laughs> devices or products, but my experts told me stay away from the batteries and there you have it that is what i would say my experts told me you should stay away from buying in poundland i hope you have a wonderful day feel free to click on this video and this video and feel free to hit the like button and subscribe and for those who don't know me i'm yvonne i do everything motherhood i'm talking about cleaning i'm talking about motivation i'm talking about shopping have a lovely day take care i thank you so much for all the support you've been showing me this far because i wouldn't be able to do this without you guys thank you so much share this video with anyone else who loves poundland or has ever wondered what poundland is like and let me know what you think in the comments below until the next time take care bye